in. So obviously I've got no sheep near me this time. So today is another bird run a minute, taking a quick lunch break to show you Flower and Dean walk in. Oh, you can see that. Now it's a housing estate, but back in 1840, it was a type of kind of a, a slum area, as most of the, this area was. It's just being up the road, obviously a lot of dodgy things used to happen back here and back in the day. Now this particular story is about a man called Daniel Good. Now his story isn't super exciting, hello, or very interesting really, but it actually changed the way the Metropolitan Police work today. So he lived in a house here on Flower Florentine Street, as it was called back then, in 1840. He was a thief, a bigamist, and a killer. So it all started back in April of 1942, when a man stole a pair of pants, I think they're trousers, but you never know. Shop in Wandsworth. Now Good was actually ID'd at the scene and police quickly went and found where he worked, which was in Putney Park where some stables were. So he was a coachman there. So PC, Mr. I think PC Gardner, his name was in fact, went to go to the stables where PC or where Mr. Good worked and found a dead body of one of Mr. Good's wife, Jane Wood, and she was naked and sitting in the barn while he was so shocked about this finding this dead body on the streets, well, in the stable, shall I say, on the floor, that um, he was confused. Mr. Good not only only ran away, he locked PC Gardner in the stables with his own son and two stable boys and ran for it. Now this, at this time, in the 1840s, now police weren't very coordinated, shall we say. The way they used to work is with piece of paper they used to meet at a certain point at a certain time and then they would share information so as you can imagine it wasn't quick and people could go days and days before they even caught anybody in fact newspapers were quicker than the Metropolitan Police at this time and in fact when Good went on the run went to his house here in Flower and Dean Walk, went to his son's house in Marlebone, went to Deptford, went to Bromley, finally ended up in Tombridge. It took them months to actually get their act together and the newspapers mocked them mercilessly for it. So it was decided by the Met Police, things had to change. So what they did is they got some special detectives and these special detectives had a task force specifically to look for good and they found him in Tonbridge working there as a labourer and uh, obviously he went to the Old Bailey he was found guilty of killing Jane Wood no not Australian clearly English and uh, he was then hanged at Newgate on May in 1842 and he left a legacy and since his death in completely changed the way they work and that was the start of the way that they have evolved and have become the Metropolitan Police of today. So that's the story of Daniel Good and the Met Police. Right now off to the next adventure, maybe with more sheep, you never know.